Hello again, tiny house people. I'm up here on my patio with a, another gadget review for you. This is a tiny portable solar shower that I bought from Duckworks. I will provide a link below the video. Um, basically what this is is a chemical sprayer with a shower head on the end of the tube. <clears throat> and it works awesome. It's black plastic, so it easily absorbs solar radiation and warms up in the sun. Um, what I have discovered is that when you warm it up in the sun, there tends to be a cool spot at the bottom, and that's the first thing you get hit with when you go to shower with it. So, I found the best way to warm this up in the sun is to simply lay it on its side. Let it sit out for a couple of hours. I get up real early in the morning, and I set it out, and then go back to bed. Come back up a couple hours later, if I have the time, that is. If I'm not off, not off at work, and uh, it warms up, it gets so hot that it's right on the edge of uncomfortable. Um, almost burning, almost a little too hot, so it gets quite comfortable. It takes about a gallon, it holds about two and a half gallons, I think is what it is. Um, I find that I can do an entire shower in about a gallon and a half, which makes me think that, you know, there's a lot of excess in our, you know, modern lifestyles. Waste a lot of energy, a lot of electricity, a lot of gas, uh, uh, natural gas, a lot of uh, water. I mean, we just live in, you know, such excessive lifestyles. But, uh, anyway, I'll give you a demonstration. Basically, pretty simple. You simply pump it in my hand after it sat out in the, shower, in the uh, sun for a couple of hours. It's nice and warm. And, you just, you go for it. It'll go quite a ways. I actually, at one time, I experimented with putting a uh, standard shower head on the end of it, and it shot about 12 feet with the ordinary shower head. So it's a good shower. It's a pretty comfortable shower. Um, again, deceptively simple. Now, I made a modification to it. I drilled a hole here. I don't know how well you can see that. I'll turn it into the sun so you can get a better look. I drilled a hole in there and I added a valve stem, just a standard automobile valve stem. Um, and if you consider doing something like that, make sure that you use a hole, a drill bit that's a little bit smaller than the valve stem. Make sure you drill a smaller hole. And uh, you want you want the uh, rubber valve stem to have a tight fit so it creates an airtight seal. Uh, but anyway, I put a valve stem on the side which did not come with it. And the reason I did that is so that I have the option of using a foot pump. Now, I don't know how necessary that was, but again, it, it works just great. Give it a few pumps. So it goes pretty well. You can see that. And it's nice and warm. Again, it's, it's, it makes a great warm shower. Now the foot pump is nice, but I found it's unnecessary. It's kind of a moot point. Again, the more you pump it, of course, the further it'll go. It's a good, good, comfortable shower. Um, I highly recommend it. I really like this unit because it's simple. Now, the only problem I ran into was I set this up in a basement shower because, I, like I said, I don't have my tiny house done yet. And um, I'm, I'm really happy with it because, as I said in a previous video, my house, I think I've said it in all my videos, um, my house will be a tiny healing house. Um, so there'll be healing elements incorporated into the house, and one such element is exercise. As I age, I do not want to have this uh, sedentary lifestyle where I lay around on my ass and, you know, kind of waste away. Um, this house, you'll have to get up off your ass and get things done. You want something, you get up and get it, um, forcing you to use your body. Not necessarily aerobic exercise, but just keeping your body moving. And that's one of the things I liked about this because uh, it requires electricity, or not electricity, it requires exercise. Um, even if it's not much, you still have to get up and uh, interact with it. Everything's interactive. Um, like I said, I found it, the, the foot pump kind of a moot point. It works. It doesn't take as many foot pumps to, to pressurize it as it does hand pumps. But if you've got enough energy to do this, then you've probably got enough energy to do this. So it hasn't really made it any easier. Now, 
I, like I said, I ran into a problem with this one. I set it up in my basement and I told my girlfriend to try it out because she wants to live in the tiny house with me. And uh, I want to make sure that it meets her needs. So she tried it out. And as well as it does work, and as much as I love this thing, she's not really interested in pumping it. And I can't say that I blame her for that. You know, not everyone wants to pump in the shower with a, you know, a foot pump or a hand pump. Uh, who can blame them for that? So I started shopping around for a better shower, and I actually found one. I found a new shower called the um, Big Kahuna. It's electric. It runs off a 12-volt battery, and it is awesome. It is better than this unit. It's so awesome. I'm going to do a separate video for that very soon, and it's going to be a more thorough video. But um, I've decided that I'm going to put this one in the kitchen and use this one to wash my dishes. And the uh, Big Kahuna will be going in the bathroom. That will be the bathroom shower. And so stay tuned. I will be back with a Big Kahuna video very soon. But for the moment, um, this one cost me like 30 bucks, and it's it's really deceptively uh, simple and primitive and extremely effective. It makes a great solar shower, but uh, not not quite up to stand. Not not. Uh, quite as good as the big kahuna but uh for like the 30 bucks or whatever it was that i paid for this you can't really go wrong but uh stay tuned for the uh big kahuna shower portable shower video that i'll, I'll have up soon so another option that i want to mention is i, I just thought of since you have the valve stem since i have the valve stem on the side of this one and if you uh decide to go with a valve stem yourself Another option you have is to get an emergency bicycle tire inflator. It's a little gadget about this big. It's got a CO2 cartridge in there. You could put that right on here and simply squeeze the trigger and it would fill with a, a few pulses of CO2. It would work. I know that would work great too. Um, I just haven't bought one. Um, if you're really not interested in pumping with your foot or your hand, you could just put a CO2, little CO2 pump on there like I say you can buy them at bike shops because they're designed to fill bicycle tires sounds like there's an airplane going over here so excuse the noise um or you could use a battery powered handheld pump they're about you know the size of a little pistol same thing that would go on there too so there are options the uh, valve stem um, uh, makes the unit a little more flexible but uh, otherwise I'm gonna call that quit so thanks and I'll see ya